want to introduce yourself? That looks good. Mm -mm. What? I'm going to slide you over a little bit right here. Yes, you have to introduce yourself. Hi, guys. It's Dee Dee here. Um, this is Evelyn. Say hi, Evelyn. She is going to be helping me make pancakes this morning, and we're using, do you remember the name of this? It's our batter, mixer, and dispenser. And so we have added, I'm going to give you a couple tips about pancakes, and then I'm going to show you a couple of the products I use that make it super, super easy. So this is our batter, mixer, and dispenser, and we're going to do all of our ingredients in this one container, and it is dishwasher safe, and it's super fun and easy to use. So we've added in one egg, um, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a whole teaspoon of baking soda, and then we are going to add in uh, two tablespoons of sugar, and I used maple sugar. Um, and then we add in two tablespoons of melted butter. Good job. And then my first tip is this recipe calls for buttermilk. I don't have any buttermilk on hand, so you can take your milk. We're adding in a third, three-fourths a cup of milk. And you can take your milk and you can either add in lemon juice or vinegar and it's going to make it buttermilk. You just want to let it sit in there for just like a couple minutes and it'll turn the milk into buttermilk. Then we're gonna add in, do you got that one? A cup of flour, okay, just like that, super easy. That's for powdered sugar later. And then, yep, all you do for this amazing little contraption is you put everything in there and then you just do what Evie's doing here, mix everything up nice and good. Okay, then my second tip for pancakes is when you do your griddle or however you're cooking pancakes, you want to use oil, not butter, because the butter is going to burn. The oil is going to make your pancakes nice and golden brown. How's that going, babe, girl? Good. Do you think we need more liquid? Mm. How do you take it off? Let me check it. Here, let me think. Oh, okay. Just twist like it. it. Uh, yeah, get me just a little bit more milk. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this. Yeah, so especially when you're doing like things with flour, you wanna just like check it because sometimes you're gonna need a little bit more flour or a little bit more liquid. So this morning we need just a little bit more liquid. You wanna toss it in here, baby girl? Okay. Go ahead. Dump it down, girl. There we go. Okay, I'll stir it up and then you can squeeze them out. How does that sound? So if you guys are watching live, post live, if you're watching replay, say replay. If you like what you're watching, definitely share. Let's we're spreading the oil around. Okay. So that's all there is to it. So then to dispense this, you want to take this off. You want to add on the bottom piece here. This is the only kind of little messy part, but not really that messy because I just poke it on like that. You want to put that in there. Take down your little thing. Hold on, baby girl. I'm gonna. Oh, it already went. That's a baby pancake for you. I'm gonna. You have three settings on here. Okay, go ahead. Do you want me to get the back and you do the front, or you got it? There you go. Oh, no, that's enough. Just one squeeze per thing. There we go. All the way. Squeeze it down all the way. There you go. Guys, this thing is great for like your waffle makers or for doing pancakes or making each cupcake the exact same size or brownies. I have your spatula right here. So to review my two tips for pancakes is make sure that you use oil not butter when you're doing your pancakes. Number two, if you don't have buttermilk, which buttermilk makes pancakes taste so much better, add in, you can come up here, what do you, oh, you're playing with the spatula. <laughs> if you don't have buttermilk, just use your milk and you can add in um, 
lemon juice or vinegar and it will turn your milk into buttermilk. You just have to let it sit for a little bit, okay? We're gonna turn this up and I'm gonna chat with you about another super amazing, lovely thing that I like to use. So this is a powdered sugar shaker. This is the Pampered Chef one, obviously, because I love Pampered Chef, but um, this is the Pampered Chef sugar shaker. But I wanted to talk to you about how products can always have more than one use. So for this, I have like three of these guys. So the one I have right now is for powdered sugar because we're making pancakes. Oh, leave them, they gotta cook for a little bit longer, baby girl. Wait till they bubble. That's another tip. Make sure you have big bubbles coming in up on your pancakes. I have one that I use for cinnamon and sugar toast because my girls love cinnamon toast. Then I have one that I have semolina flour in, which I use for the bottom of my pizza peel when I'm making pizzas. And then I have another one that I have flour in that I use for Mom, when can I'm... Can you get a plate for all the pancakes once you're done? Yeah. And then I have one with flour that I use to like shake down on my counter when I'm rolling out biscuits and different things like that. So things can always have more than one use in your kitchen. Oh, you got one yourself. Good job. Okay, so I don't think he's done. He's not golden brown and delicious, babe. He looks done. Not finished yet. Oh, don't smush him. Let's turn this up a little bit. I turned it down because the oil was on there. So I'd love to know what you guys are having for breakfast. Whoa, let me see. See, they're not done. Okay, so that's it. Those are my pancake tips, guys. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. We're gonna be coming back on live today to do some of our holiday baking. We might make fudge. You wanna make fudge? Or another family favorite is some homemade caramel popcorn. So simple, so easy to do. So, bye guys. Get in there and say bye. Bye. Lean in, no one can see you. Lean in. I'm good. I'm gonna wait for her to lean in so we can. Bye. You're just gonna get a hand. Bye guys.